What have y'all been doing? What are y'all doing? You know? It just really makes me question why people are buying Lysol wipes and hand sanitizers and all kinds of stuff. Now, y'all should have been had this. All right, before I go into a whole rant about how people really was not washing their hands before all this stuff happened. They gotta teach their kids how to wash their hands. Your kids didn't know how to wash their hands before? Listen, <laughs> don't get me started, okay? Please don't get me started. Let's just jump right into this video. I um, am going to be using the Maybelline Master Prime. I have not used this in a very long time. I did my brows off camera as you can see because that kind of takes up a bunch of time. And oh yeah, I am not gonna be taking off this hat because her hair looks crazy. <laughs> Now I'm going to be using Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. My shade is in Kampala 340. Let me tell you how I thought that I was a fan of the foundation sticks. I am not really, they are good for, con for concealing and everything, but in terms of foundation, it doesn't help your face to last longer if you have oily combination skin. If you have that, get the I Am Magic Foundation and it'll change your life, I'm trying to tell you. I asked people on my Instagram um, for some questions because I wanted to uh, do a question and answer type of video. This is Tarte and, and I know that Tarte was canceled um, for not having enough shades or like whatever and that is a serious issue. However, um, I like um, Tarte sh shape tape so I got it again. But all right, we are going to just jump into these questions. I don't want to make this video too like long so I have my phone here and I am going on my Instagram to see what people say. Um, I'm just going to blend this concealer out. I like to let it sit for like a little bit and if I was going out I would let it sit longer um, because it just like doesn't move if you just let it sit. How's life? How's life? Um, <laughs> life is good. Working on the weekends like usual, okay? <laughs> In the words of Drake and Future, life is good. Life is good. Um, it's a lot of things going on, but in spite of it all, God is good and life is good. Um, I am working and my business is doing really well. Um, yeah, life is life is good. I can I cannot complain. I can't complain. Next question. Um How are the kids treating you at work? Oh, <laughs> well all these laughing faces. How are the kids treating me at work? If you don't know, I am a preschool teacher. Um, a preschool teacher and an urban Head Start program. Not saying that that has anything to do with anything, but in some cases it does. Um, and the kids are my babies. However, they kept me handfuls. <laughs> Most of the time they are handfuls and I'll be ready to grip them up. I know, but ooh, sometimes they test me, but I love them. The kids at my job are very sweet kids. Very, 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 very sweet kids. Next question. Single or taken? Life out loud. Single. <laughs> Single. Life. Life 
happens. Life happened. Life happens. Whatever. I, I, every time that I feel like I want to give somebody a chance or like every time I like want to be like in a relationship, I don't anymore. I don't know. Like, I be like, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna put myself out there. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna like text somebody back, or I'm gonna hit somebody up, or when somebody asks me out, I'm gonna say yeah. And then I, I put myself out there and I talk to people or like a person, and I, I don't know. I just, I, I don't have time right now. Like, I just, I I don't and like I just have like a lot going on and I'm I'm in my selfish time right now I would like to be in a in a relationship I just don't want a relationship that's not going to lead to like marriage you know like I don't I'm not a person that just dates just to just to date I have never been that way. I have tried to be that way, but I have a big heart and I end up catching feelings and you know, nobody has time to get their heart hurt. Um, my heart has been hurt enough. So uh, we gonna keep on going on this wholeness journey and get completely healed. And hopefully by the time I get completely healed, um, I will be able to be found by who I'm supposed to be with, you know, because um, um, mm -mm. eh -eh. um, all right, next question. Where do you see yourself next year? 2021 is going to be a very um, great year for me. Uh, I am in grad school right now. And I'm supposed to be, no, I am graduating in 2021. So that is next year. I will have my master's degree in early childhood education, which is really good. Um, I want to already be a classroom teacher. That is my goal and something that I am currently working on yes i teach pre-k but i don't always want to teach pre-k kindergarten through second grade is what is what i want to teach preferably first grade because because personally i loved first grade and i just think that that's that's just great that's a great great to teach um yeah i want to by then i want to be in a committed relationship by next year so you know we'll see we'll see what God has in store for you girl what God has in store for you girl period I see my business bigger than what it is right now I want to be selling merchandise that's something that I um, have been like thinking about because I really want to do that like I, I don't know like shirts and hats and mirrors and eyelashes and lip gloss and some other stuff you know I want for me my family and my friends to be healthy happy and just in a good space mentally i want us all to have it i want world peace <laughs> and all that good stuff you know oh and and i also by next year <laughs> i want to be traveling more internationally like going outside of the country because i have never been outside of the country and i really want to do that like not just on a cruise i want to actually go to a country go to a city in a country and just ex experience the culture and just ugh, can't wait 
and I want to like you know just have my own place that's it I don't want to be married with with like kids or nothing I'm only 23 turning 24 this this year but next year I'll be 25 and I don't anticipate I don't intend on getting married or having any kids yet <laughs> um, yeah Okay, this question says, how does God get you through your thoughts that weigh heavy on you? Ooh, that's a, that's a very, very good one. Um, I put on Instagram before, um, and like a, and like a bunch of different times that I think on like my channel as well, that I get nervous and I have like wrestled with anxiety and like the attacks and everything. Um, for like years and I just have like obsessive thoughts about things like what ifs what is what is just like whew, what um I think that me just talking to God about what is like going on helps me and he reminds me that he has it all in control and that I shouldn't worry or be fearful or be anxious also I just I just I just have to listen to posit, posit, positivity and encouraging words I talked to God about what is going on and I just try my best to just give it to him it definitely is a process because I like to pray say that I am like giving to God but then I keep going back and I'm like well what if he doesn't answer it this way what if this happens and I'm like I said I was giving it to God so I better give it to God and stop playing <laughs> like because I know he, he just be he just looking at me like girl I said hush <laughs> whenever those thoughts come I just have to pray give it to him breathe breathing is so is so important and he and like he always reminds me to to to, to <laughs> he always reminds me to just breathe just breathe mm. oh I gotta do that right now okay Just breathe. breathe in for four counts, breathe out for four counts. This one says, how did you get through your parents' divorce? Uh, my, so, <laughs> without going into a lot of, diff like a lot of detail, um, within the last couple of years, they got a, they officially got a divorce, but it had been a thing, like, there had been a bunch of tension um, for a long time, like, years. It was a very tr trying time for me and my sisters. I don't think I could have made it, like, at all, without them. Um, that's why I'm, I'm so grateful for the fact that I have siblings and that we are so like close in age that like you know we could we could like just we could t talk to each other and just like be there you know because it, cause it was it was not easy it was something that was very traumatic for all of us it's something that's like it just changes everything and it's literally like you are trying to get over a death that just happened because you literally have to let go of what you knew your like family to honestly be mother and father 
living in the same house, loving each other with their kids to now, like, you know, people are moving to this house and this house and, you know, it's just like, like, it's just totally different and you have to adapt and create a new normal. But, um, just because they aren't together doesn't mean that the love that they have for you will ever change. So, I don't know. It's it's a very tricky situation. In, in the beginning, you, like, it's like, oh my god, my family's falling apart. Oh my god, we're the same. Oh my god, my family, I want them to get back together. And then, you just, like I said before, you gotta just pray. You gotta just like give it to God and give like your family to God and just watch him turn it all around. Now, everybody is doing like their own thing and it's just good though. And the love is still there. It's going to get better. It definitely will get better. Definitely, definitely will. Um, I think that that's all the questions that I am going to answer because I'm done my makeup. I'm done my makeup. Um, you know, something natural like I'm going to add Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Spray real quick. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. You know, thank you for supporting me because I literally go through this every couple of weeks every couple of months where i'd be consistent and then i'm like mm -mm, bye youtube <laughs> but i'm trying to get back i am actually going to record another video right now so once this one is up probably the following week you'll see another video in the same outfit in the same makeup look so don't say nothing in the comments you know just just watch the content. Don't say like, didn't you already have that on? Yes, yes I, yes I did. And guess what? I don't care. Cause listen, we we, we gonna keep this. We gonna keep this momentum. We gonna keep moving. Okay. Period. <laughs> I just wanna thank you again. Sorry, thank you. But I am losing my voice. And don't say that I have that I have coronavirus. Cause I don't. Period. <laughs> What's that? I'm covered. Psalms 91, period. I'm covered. I wash my hands. I've been doing that before this coronavirus. But I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!